guys, Sean Allen here with the Gate Guys. We're going to show you another little video here today, part two of the uh, a little foot exercise for the extensor hallucis brevis, which is the short extensor of the uh, big toe. And this muscle will create extension at the first metatarsal phalangeal joint. So it'll create extension at this joint right here. And when paired neurologically, it typically will pair up nicely with the long flexor of the big toe. So the short extensor will pair nicely with the long flexor. We'll show that to you right now. <clears throat> One of the things that we see that's wrong with people's feet is that they pair up these muscles incorrectly around the big toe. We talk about the foot tripod, the heel, the fifth metatarsal, and the first metatarsal heads as the tripod of the foot. And we know a tripod is stable. When we get into looking at the foot and its tripod, we'd like to see that tripod anchoring so that the medial tripod stays put, so that when we load the foot, that medial tripod does not splay forward, allowing that medial arch to drop. One of the ways to get that anchored is to help the big toe anchor this first medial tripod. In order to do that, this toe has to function correctly. Quite frequently, we see people in two different patterns. We see too much long or short flexor and long extensor pairing, and we'll see these toes kind of curl up in a banana shape positioning, and you'll see that there's no arch here underneath the big toe. These people will develop a callus pattern on the proximal part of the, of the pad. We'd like to see more pressure underneath the pad itself. So these people need to get out of so much short flexor, long extensor, and we'd like to see them get into a little bit more long flexor. And in order to do that, we have to get that toe up. Getting that toe up requires us to get to the short extensor, the extensor hallucis brevis. This is very difficult for a lot of people to do because they can't find this pairing of short extensor, long flexor. They will automatically just go into this pattern right here. They can't seem to isolate themselves out of long extensor and get them down, themselves down into just holding the toe up with the short extensor and then pairing it with the long flexor. You need to be able to have this kind of skill in your foot in order to do this. Long extensor, short extensor, short flexor, long flexor. So you need to be able to isolate these. But a lot of people can't do that. A lot of people cannot find that short extensor like we said. So, we've devised a little exercise. Here we have a little TheraVan with a little loop on the end. And what we ask you to do is find the thinnest part of that loop and put it over the tip of the toe. The way we explain it to our patients is, just put that thin part over the toenail like a little hat. And then put, load the tendon. So what this is doing, as you can see, is it's acting like a surrogate long flexor tendon. You can see by the amount of flexion we have at the big toe here. Then what you do is you get the tripod down and the foot down. This basically cocks the foot into that short extensor position. And now people can start to develop that short extensor. The people who can't, the people who are going to really benefit from this are going to be the people who are in that posturing right there, where they can't find that short. As soon as they pick up the toe, the band pulls them into flexion and now they can access the short extensor. And then what you do over time is once they start to ingrain that pattern, you start easing up on the amount of band so that now they have to engage the short extensor with the long flexor. And eventually, you keep progressing them out of this until they no longer need the band. And when they lift the toe up, they should be able to get into the short extensor and the long extensor. So that's an exercise we're pretty sure no one has seen before. It's something that uh, the gate guys have developed. It works beautifully for retraining this. And remember, when you can get that foot or that big toe uh, more skilled, you can anchor that first tripod better. You'll see that, watch my foot, watch that first metatarsal. You're trying to get that engaged down, but if you can get into that short extensor more, you can drive that first metatarsal down deeper, and you can get a better medial tripod. 
This will help you get to a more stable arch. Then the next thing you have to do in the next skill of the, off of this is to then take this skill off the table and start to get them to do it in a weight bearing position and then be able to get down into these types of postures so that you can then stabilize the foot in the gait cycle. So another little exercise. This is just one of many we're going to be putting on our exercise DVD for retraining foot, ankle, and lower extremity and gait patterns. We're hoping that can get out by the end of the year of 2012. So I'm Sean Allen with the Gate Guys. We'll see you guys again next time.